All right, lads, here we go with today's video. Today we got something a little bit different for you guys. This is definitely not a rebuild, as you guys can uh, tell by the title thumbnail. This is not a rebuild. If you guys want a rebuild, go check out yesterday's video. I did a no salary cap rebuild challenge, so go check that out if you guys haven't already. That'd be great. But if not, and you're interested in today's video, Keep, stay tuned lads, stay tuned. Before we get too far in the video though, be sure to subscribe to the channel, it'll be absolutely amazing. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers, so please go down there, hit that red button if you have not already. If you have, be sure to like the video, it helps us out a lot. Uh, shows support for the channel and helps the video and recommend it and all that jazz. So now the intro is done, we're going to get into it. Today we're doing a how to trade video, how to trade an NBA 2K21 My League. I did do this for 2K20 and it seemed to do really well, so we're going to do it again for 2K21. And even though the game's only been out for what, barely a month, uh, I might have picked up a thing or two by playing it almost every single day. So uh, I'm just here, this is only my opinion. If you guys have more, let me know down in the comments. I'm very, very open to learning some more. But, uh, you know, trading in 2K21, quite easy. Uh, I'll just start off with a random team, the Golden State Warriors. I mean, this is not the best team to show you guys how to trade because, you know, this team is pretty dang good. Uh, but, you know, a team's a team. These rules apply to for every single team, so it doesn't matter who you get. How this video is going to work, I'm going to go through the values of players and picks, all that type of stuff, and, like, scouting, how to scout teams, see who, who you can get for cheap. Uh, what picks you should pick up that will get you the most value, most, what players, what players you cannot get unless the team's selling, all that type of stuff. I'll go through that and then we'll get to the trades and all that, how to actually make proper trades and trade for, you know, your favorite player in NBA 2K21. So just a quick rundown, uh, we are going to go through scouting and all that type of stuff. So as you can see, we are the Golden State Warriors and they are buying. Uh, if we go over to the Phoenix Suns, they're rebuilding, which means if you look at the first line in team status it says it is clearly rebuild time in phoenix they're going to want prospects or draft picks which means they're going to want either young players or you know very high value picks and as you can also tell there is no one listed as untouchable for the phoenix suns whereas if i go over to the portland trailblazers they are buying right now they feel like they're missing a missing a few pieces and uh, away from contending uh, they might give up draft picks uh, for someone that can help them right now so really if you have a player that you know say like like a Hassan Whiteside or something and you want to trade up for Yusuf Nurkic maybe I don't know Hassan Whiteside's actually on the Portland Trailblazers I only just realized uh, but if you want someone like that be sure to offer them up less picks you can probably get picks in return for offering up a decent player that would help them win in the long run if you see a team that has a player listed under untouchable uh, like down here Portland have Damian Lillard just don't try it's not worth it there are a few players that when they are listed as untouchable you can still get such as Ja Morant I've done this before I have made a trade for Ja Morant when he's listed as untouchable it's a lot easier when the Grizzlies are selling uh, because he's not listed as untouchable but I have got a trade for Ja Morant that I can do. Uh, I'll probably show you guys later in the video. But that's really the entire gist of scouting. Actually, we'll move it to selling here. As you can see, if someone's selling, which uh, I think if most teams, if they're selling, uh, they will no longer have uh, any players listed as, as untouchable. So at the trade deadline, be sure to stop, have a look uh, and see what teams are selling and uh, what teams you can actually like trade for their superstar players, you know? Now we'll get into the fun part using getting making trades and stuff like that so just the basic gist if you want to trade your superstar player don't expect a superstar in return Carl Anthony Towns isn't listed as untouchable if you wanted a cat you could probably go get him Kyrie Irving also isn't listed as untouchable in this game uh, so there's a lot of players here that you could definitely trade your superstar player for however it would be stupid especially a player like Stephen Curry that 2k likes very very much Clay Thompson on the other hand uh, as you can see he's only got four star value not the five star like Steph Curry had which means there's going to be less not as good offers coming up we can still get Trey Young though that's actually kind of not bad but we've got Steph Curry like that wouldn't make sense uh, so yeah, feel free whenever you open up your team uh, to go have a look through what trades you can get for every single player and what type of value that player is getting on the market. Gives you a nice basic gist of who's going for what and what trades could possibly go down. Personally, when I'm using the Warriors, the first two players I trade is Andrew Wiggins and Draymond Green. And you can normally get yourself someone decent such as DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge. As you guys also saw there, we did offer up a pick, uh, which was the first uh, first. In 2021 top five protected uh it did have what two stars and when you get there when there's protections on it it does a 
bring down the trade value for that. So see this Timberwolves top three protected? It only has two stars. If it had no top three protected, I'm pretty sure it would be uh, two and a half stars. So when there's a protection, it always brings down the value of the pick. Players such as LaMarcus Aldridge, when they're listed as at, at their original position, lower value than you can get out of it. So as you can see, LaMarcus Aldridge is only three stars. Whereas if I move him to the power forward, which uh, boosts up his overall and his value, he moves up to three and a half stars, which gives him a lot more value. Then if you pair him, throw him back up on the market, you can get yourself even better trades than what you traded for them. I, I specifically like doing this to LaMarcus Aldridge. Even like players like Chris Daspazingas, I like doing it too. Ben Simmons, I also like doing it too as well. As you can see, there's a first round pick. It's only two stars. Most first round picks from 2023 onwards are only two stars anyway, no matter what team. Uh, the, like Ben Simmons here, you know he's listed as a point guard, but if you move him to the small forward, he goes up to a 91. It's always handy to do that to most of your players. Have a look, see what goes on. If you guys don't know how to do that, if you guys don't know how to do that, you should just be able to press start on your controller. It comes up with the activated quick edit mode. Uh, you just press A on that and press OK, and then you can go up and down here and you can change players' positions. I like doing that. It does help with player values. And yeah, most of the time, if you can keep doing that, keep changing players' positions around, seeing what you can get for certain players it does help us out, help you out a lot and it does help you get a lot better players personally I'd keep Ben Simmons Ben Simmons is godly in 2k so like this team right now would be pretty dang dope I'd probably trade Tobias and Eric Paschal uh, and try and make it me myself a bloody good team like a good starting five if I if you could get a big man here like an Andre Drummond or even like a uh, or even a combo that a bit like that that would be pretty dang awesome. See, Andre Drummond. Also, don't be afraid to look around. As you guys could probably see, I did think about doing this trade with Eric Paschal, but Eric Paschal does have three-star value. If I could do the same thing uh, with just with Marquise Chris, and uh, I could get the exact same trade package. So don't be afraid to just exit out of a trade if you don't want to do it, uh, and potentially you can get yourself a cheaper deal for the same people. Like It's always worth just before making a trade, double-checking to make sure there is no better trade Val offers up there like this trade you not don't need to double check on alright you don't need to double check on something a bit like that another thing that you do have to manage when you start making your own trades is salaries as you can see down the bottom I'll, I'll, I'll chuck in say just like Zach Levine as you guys can see it says valid trade for the Golden State Warriors but invalid trade for the Brooklyn Nets if you press start on this it can tell you what's going wrong illegal trade the Bulls are over the salary cap of uh, 109 million for this trade the Bulls would acquire 4.75 million so basically you have to go around try and find a, a player that you can chuck in that would level out the cap and uh, as you guys can see it now just says both valid trades if I were to press start this trade would go through uh, you know what I'll do it for the purpose of the video there you go the trade would go through when you're doing trades with a lot of players you sometimes do have to match up the amount of players uh, so that trade does go through and this when that does happen a trade uh, something sh like this should come up. This is an illegal trade for this certain team. A team can have at most 15 players on its roster during the season. So whichever team ha kind of has the red bar at the bottom, you normally go to them. Just go over here, sort it out from, go to the worst, uh, least expensive player on their team, and you should be able to just be able to do something like that. That is for Jason Tatum though, so it shouldn't go through. Sometimes if you just chuck some picks in there, like uh, say this Hawks pick and this pick, it sometimes can work. But uh, for Jason Tatum, I have a feeling nothing's going to work there. But that's the basic gist of trades in 2K, man. I'm just going to put it out there. That's the basic gist. I am going to go uh, right now. This is going to be a separate uh, separate part of the video. I am going to go over a few trades that I have got down here. I have posted these on TikTok. If you haven't, go follow me on TikTok. I do post TikToks on how to trade for certain players. So if you want to see new trades for good, very good players, uh, go follow me on TikTok and uh, have a look there. But these are all trades that do work in NBA 2K21 My League for players such as Kyrie Irving, Jason Tatum, Kyle Anthony Towns, Ben Simmons, John Morant. So, uh, you know, it's worth going follow me on there. But I'm just going to go, uh, I'll show you guys here real quick some trades that can that do work in NBA 2K21. This first trade is for Kyrie Irving. He is quite easy to trade for in this game. So sometimes you can get him for some weird packages. But if you get De'Aaron Fox, Kevin Love, and Atlanta Hawks first round pick, don't chuck the Atlanta Hawks first round pick in there. But if you just offer up De'Aaron Fox and Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving does get offered up for uh, De'Aaron Fox, Kevin Love, and that Atlanta Hawks first round pick. So that's a very easy trade finder to get yourself a very nice, poor starting point guard in Kyrie Irving. It's 
suggest doing that. It is very cheap to get Kyrie. This next trade is for Jason Tatum. Uh, he is uh, quite a difficult player to trade for. You're going to have to give up. Kristaps Porzingis, Brandon Ingram, and Lonzo Ball. Make sure Lonzo Ball is listed as a small forward. Otherwise, the trade will not go through. You're also going to have to have this Atlanta Hawks first start round pick. I do like using this one for most of my trades because it is the easiest to get, easiest three-star pick to get. You're also going to have to give up two unprotected future first round picks as well for this to go through. You're also going to need from the Celtics, uh, Gordon Hayward. You're going to have to get Gordon Hayward and Javante Green. Otherwise, this trade will not go through. A trade a bit like this in, in the proposed trade will go through every single time. So if you guys want yourself uh, Jason Tatum, you're going to have to give up quite a bit uh, for him, but he is very, very nice in 2K. So if you do, be sure to use this trade to get yourself Jason Tatum. This trade here, the third probably trade, third out of five, by the way, we're only doing five trades in case I didn't say that before. Next trade is for Ja Morant. And uh, just saying, this is one of the best trades ever because Ja Morant turns into a freaking beast in NBA 2K21. So uh, it is very, very nice to do. Now, Ja Morant. You're going to have to give have Gorgie Dang on there too, just for salary matching wise, and also Kyle Anderson. Otherwise, the trade won't go through. Player wise, you are going to have to have Ben Simmons, Tyler Hero, and Matisse Tybel. But trust me, in the long run, it is so worth it for Ja Morant. You're also going to have to have two three star valued first round picks. Jeez, I had to say that slowly, otherwise I would have confused myself even. Uh, so you need three here, and as you guys can see, uh, you need three? You need two here. Uh, you don't need three, you only need two. So Atlanta and New Orleans first round picks in 2021, which should do the trick, and that should go through every single time for Ja Morant. That's absolutely amazing. Ja Morant is a beast player in NBA 2K21, so I suggest if you want to, go down and get him. This fourth trade that I'm going to show you guys is for your boy Carl Anthony Towns. You're going to have to give up LaMarcus Aldridge. Make sure you move into the power forward, other, otherwise the trade will not go through. You're also going to have to give up DeMar DeRozan and De'Aaron Fox, otherwise it's just not going to go through. They're also going to have to give up Evan Turner, and uh, that's actually about it. You need to give up a uh, three-star first-round pick, and there's that Atlanta Hawks first round pick again. It's three stars, the easiest one to trade for. Offer up a trade a bit like this in the proposed trade and it will go through every single time and you've got yourself a big man, a third third best big man in the uh, NBA 2K21, Carl Anthony Towns, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you want Carl Anthony Towns, there you go. There's one way to get him. So last trade coming up. Now for this fifth and final trade, this is probably going to be the easiest one of the entire video. All you're going to be needing is Chris Paul, Move him to the shooting guard uh, when it wants to work. Move him to the shooting guard. Offer him up in the trade finder. And guess who pops up for you? Your boy, Trey Young. So if you want to get yourself Trey Young for uh, the future, I suggest just getting Chris Paul, a 35-year-old, move him to the shooting guard. Put him in the trade finder by himself. Trey Young comes up and you can get him with Clint Capella, which is absolutely amazing. Trey Young, absolutely crazy. I think he's like the fifth best rated point guard in 2K21. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's the fifth be best point guard in 2K21. Uh, ben Simmons could probably be up there, might be, might be in between. He might go down to six if Ben Simmons wasn't moved to the small forward. Uh, but he is the fifth best point guard in the league. So if you want yourself Trey Young, why the heck not, man? But guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you guys learned a little something about 2K. If you guys have anything that I missed in this video, be sure to leave a comment down below. I'm always open. I'm always open to learning more about the game. Uh, learning more equals better videos and all that so please be sure to leave comments on what you guys know and what you guys want to share help me learn as well hopefully you guys all liked those five trades that i did if you guys want to see more of those go follow me on tiktok man go feel it follow me on tiktok for almost daily how to trade for players videos so if you guys want that go follow me on tiktok it'll be absolutely amazing if you're here from tiktok be sure to subscribe boys be sure to subscribe however lads this video has gone on long enough hopefully you guys all have a good rest of the day I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!